Hello IPX community, a couple of months ago I discovered a company called Anello Photonics who make gyroscopes to replace GPS using silicon. At the start of this week, three of our team members, Guy, Brianna and Nutella, made their way to CES in Las Vegas to film a video with Anello. Stay tuned for more CES content, but without further ado, here's Anello Photonics. Hello IPX, again we are at CES for yet another video, we've done a lot of videos. And now we're all about disruptive technology. We're all about doing things that are new and that you won't have come across. So we've come across this company called Anello, which we're going to talk to Mario about, which is all about the mysterious world. And let's be honest, it is mysterious of gyroscopes. Explain to us what you're doing with gyroscopes. All right, thank you. It's first a pleasure to meet you. And uh, our company is called Anello Photonics. My name is Mario. I'm the co-founder and CEO. Uh, what we've created last year at CES, we announced the Cyfog, which is a silicon photonics optical gyro. So it's a fiber gyro on a chip. We take the performance of a fiber gyro, which is a high-end system that's very expensive. Yep. Use integrated photonics, the same processing that we do with silicon wafers. Yep. And we put all the electronics and the photonics into a little form factor like this. Mario, <laughs> if we didn't have this, what would we have? So this is why it's disruptive. Today, fiber gyros exist. They're big and they're bulky, but they're only for fighter jets, ICBMs, missiles, very high-end defense applications. Yeah. By using integrated silicon photonics, we shrink the size, size, weight, power, and cost. What that allows us to do is now we can put this in all kinds of applications that drive this to the mass market. Yeah. So now you can bring high performance capability. So is what you're actually saying, if this didn't exist, it just doesn't exist. Well, you have what's on your phone, but it's not very accurate. You can't yeah. use it for, if you want to use autonomous, driving autonomously, you need high precision, insensitive to temperature, insensitive to vibration. You have to know where you're at, any place at any time. And high price technology doesn't allow you to take it to the mass market. No, no. So are you, uh, is, is this, um, wh where else would you put this? So this is the core technology, which we call Cyfog. It's a key optical gyro. But we take this and we build systems with it. So for land vehicles, we announced this this summer. This is what are called an LO GNSS INS. Right. Inside here, we have a, a single axis, high precision optical gyro. We have two GPS antennas. We have a CPU and we have an algorithm, AI algorithm. This allows you to drive in a land vehicle with no GPS. So I'm driving, if I lose GPS, we have algorithms, AI algorithm that says, hey, don't trust the GPS, rely on the gyro. Because right. it's, so, it's so high performance, we, we're not dependent on anything else. So we're talking, we're driving 100 kilometers, roughly an hour of drive data on a road with less than a 100 meter error with no GPS. That's right. 0.1%. So right. you now... now, now that's so just to interrupt you, that sounds unbelievable, unbelievably impressive, yes. unbelievably clever, but where are the real practical... Ah, I was going to get to that. It's a good question. So why does this matter? Yeah. So think about, we have two cases, industrial and defense. So, so what are the industrial applications? Yes, please. Let's look at agriculture, yes. farming, construction. Yes. So agriculture, and you can see some videos here, we've done drive data, you want to go up and down the orchards. And what happens in the fall when the leaves come in? You don't get GPS. Right. So if you're driving autonomously, you need high precision. So we've developed algorithms with our systems that now we can actually go in the orchards and farming and you can go up and down the rows autonomously, but with precision, sub-centimeter, without yep. any GPS. And when you're weaving in and out in agriculture, that's the kind of thing. Yeah, so we, you know, you come in and out and you turn, but let's take um, mining. What happens when you go into a mine? There's no GPS. No, there isn't. Like construction. What happens when you go in and out of buildings? You lose GPS. So most of the technology today has been relying on GPS as a navigation tool. Yeah, I understand. And when you lose that, yeah. we now have capability to rely on Anello technology to make up for... So, so for our community, obviously GPS has been in existence for... Help me out. A long time. <laughs> 20 years, 30 20 years. years. I, was gonna yeah. I was gonna guess 20 years. Right? So, so GPS would be, I need to know where my thing is I use GPS. That's just not available in places like agriculture, mining, yeah. industrial applications. Downtown urban canyons, buildings, yeah. right? all that stuff, right? Yeah. So now... Tunnels. Now, the technology to do that did exist, but it was flying around in F-16 fighters. Big, expensive, bulky, $30,000, $40,000, $50,000 boxes. Yeah. 
Yeah. Some of them are hundred thousand so, dollars. So, so you've been able to bring your technology to everyday use cases where GPS is not one hundred percent reliable. Yes. So agriculture, robotics, construction. Think about that. So now there's a defense piece of this. In defense world, it's jamming and spoofing. Like if you see, unfortunately, the conflicts that are happening around the world the adversaries are jamming the GPS. Yeah. So all the guided missiles don't work, all the drones don't work. Yeah. And that leads us to the second piece of technology which we announced this week. This is what we call the X3. We launched that this week. This is the highest precision optical gyro, fits in the palm of your hand, lift up the lid. Okay, and show the inside. So inside here, there are three side fogs. There's one, turn it. See, one, two, three. Yep. But now for things that move and fly, we've now created the world's smallest, lowest power, lightweight IMU, inertial measurement union, that opens up aerial. And why does size and power matter? Look behind you. Uh, that, the drone. Okay. Yep. okay. So now we've created, it's small enough form factor that we can actually put it into a drone. This is actually a drone that we put together. And there's two things you have to understand with drones. Today, Drones fly based on autopilots, yep. and this is a Pixhawk, it's a standard uh, autopilot. But the minute they lose GPS, what happens? They don't know where to go. They sit, they hover, and yeah, they crash. And, and do they then wait for the signal or just crash? They crash, or they run out of battery. In yeah, yeah, minutes. So, yeah, yeah. And they can't go back home because they don't know where to go. Yeah. So with the X3, combined with an algorithm and software we've implemented, we basically say, hey, we have a high-precision gyro on the flight. Don't worry about the GPS. We notice that the algorithm says, hey, you've lost GPS, rely on the gyro, and we can fly through jammed and regions. And we're talking here, just to put into context, 10 kilometers of flight, no GPS, and we think we can be within a 100 meter error. And that'll still know where it is. It will know exactly where you are. Right, remote. And so this now opens up air, and then do the same thing. What happens when you go into water? If you go two or three feet underwater, what happens to the GPS signal? There isn't one. There isn't one. So now we open up <laughs> land, yeah. air, and now we're going to do maritime next. Right. Wow. And when you say disruptive, it really allows you now yeah, to think yeah, about... You're, you're putting things where they weren't. And so now people who want to do autonomous anything, yeah. we've brought capability that doesn't exist in size and form factor because now you can bring it to those applications yeah. to the mass market yeah. and we solve real problems of people who want to do autonomy. And this is just the start. If you fast forward, the benefit of integrated photonics is just like Moore's law and integrated circuit. This we'll is going to get smaller, 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 lower smaller, power. Smaller. And so we'll yeah. I'll do ourselves over time because we want to keep moving the, the, the technology forward. And this is our first generation product that I showed you. Yeah. Um, and it, it's still a leap over what exists. And we'll continue to push an L in the future. We'll continue to push this faster, lower, smaller, right. cheaper. <laughs> so I've lost my voice. That's okay. So if our community is saying, I want to be able to, we, we, we've made it very clear, it's about GPS, when you don't have GPS, it's to give you the reliability to know whatever it is, wherever it's going. Um, this still sounds like quite an expensive bit of technology. It's it's expensive, it's all relative. It's a huge leap from what exists today. Yeah. Um, and as we start scaling volume, the benefit of integrated photonics is we'll drive that cost curve down with volume. Right. If you want to evaluate that, how do you go about getting hold of uh, one of these? So the place you want to go is you can go to our website, anellaphotonics.com, or... You go, you go to, to ipexchange.tech, where we'll help you connect and get you, what is it, an evaluation? We'll, we'll give you information, we can get spec sheet, we can set up with our BD people, we can do evaluation kits, and you can actually try the technology out for a limited amount of time. We'll put you in touch with our field applications engineers. More importantly, tell us what your use case is, yeah. what the problem you have, and we'll tell you how we can use our technology to solve your problem. Brilliant. That's a, okay. you so said, if you go to his website, or you can go to our which website. That? Which one is that? Remember? Anellophotonics.com yeah. or ipexchange.tech. ipexchange.tech. Did I mention that? Yeah. Don't forget to go to ipexchange.tech. Yeah, good. And we're happy to forward to anellophotonics.com. Thank Cheers. you. Real pleasure. Good Thanks job. for stopping by. Our pleasure.